This is a multiplayer markdown editor. It's driven by CodeMirror and PartyKit. CodeMirror is the editor itself. Uh, it's an extensible kind of robust in-browser IDE-like code editor. So uh, you get all sorts of great stuff like this and uh, just really functions and gives you kind of a nice editing and typing experience, which is what I am looking for here. Uh, PartyKit gives you the connection. Uh, so under the hood, it's using YJS and CodeMirror, and we're getting this connection uh, with PartyKit and uh, sockets through their infrastructure. And we, we end up with a collaborative uh, experience. You can see cursor highlighting on both sides, or if you type, type in text, uh, you can edit it from, from either window like so, uh, and you get that real-time updates, which gives a, a very nice experience if you know, you're know you editing content with two different people, um, 10 different people, uh, you get a really great way to get in there and, and do that and, and have a, a mutual typing experience that is fantastic. Uh, one of the things that I wanna do is add custom gutters in here and, and add chat and, and really extend it that way, and I think that'll be, uh, that'll be cool. The implementation itself, so this is down in the page, and there's a, 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 a form here, and inside the form is the code mirror box. Uh, so this is all kind of self-contained, the uh, editing and real-time nature of it. So it sets up, um, what happens is we set up a room, and the room is based on the current object that we're looking at. So in this case, our room name is tip edit with the tip ID. Um, so you pass a room name in, so the editor is in the the context of uh, basically this page, right? Like so, whatever the slug is, uh, easy tip, whatever here, that's the context and that's the room. So if I I join this page, if I go edit this lesson, I I join a room um, on the the party kit server. So I'm I'm joining the party. Uh, this is a use effect. It takes uh, there's two the element and the room name where the element um, is set as, as a ref. So element gets set here. Uh, we're using state. Uh, we're setting element. That node is this ref uh, to the div here and basically just telling code mirror where, where it is set up. Uh, so this sets up the party kit, just Y party kit provider. And this is the Y here is YJS. So this is a connector between party kit and YJS. Um, we pass it a Y doc, the document format that YJS uses to speak. And, and down here, you can actually see it uh, getting the text specifically for code mirror. And it supports several other editors like the popular ones. Uh, but th now we have this text and we're able to, to move that to a string. And then we pass that into the current state, basically, of CodeMirror in this create. Uh, they give you a bundle of extensions. CodeMirror is all about extensions. So when you're adding different languages or different kind of, uh, and then Y Collab, which comes from the Y CodeMirror.next. This is for I think CodeMirror six is what the .next is all about. But Y Collab is the YJS collaboration adapter for CodeMirror which then feeds back into PartyKit uh, to give us give us that multiplayer. Um, in the example I used, which was uh, this great one from the LiveBlocks blog. LiveBlocks is a, a, another real-time service uh, giving you that kind of multiplayer. So we set up the view. Uh, the view gets added to the element down here. And now we uh, have a, a socket connected uh, CodeMirror editor in the browser, uh, which is what is running over here.